Tuesday morning, it's March the 7th. Today, one of the holidays is Alexander Graham Bell Day. Nice. <laughs> and so on. Uh, Menace, he wanted to do the telephone game. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm letting Menace run this. Yes. Menace, so, you're in charge. Well, let's explain who uh, Graham Bell is for people that don't know that he is the guy that invented the telephone. Alexander Graham Bell. All right. <laughs> He's the guy that invented the telephone. Right. And then so, as you know, as a kid, there was the game, the telephone game. So somebody would share a story or a phrase, and then people would relay it to each other. And then by the end, it would be totally different. Than- yeah. I remember doing this in school. Everybody would sit in a circle. Uh, right. And like the teacher yeah. would start oh, with you'd pass it along, whatever pass and then whisper yeah. in the yeah. ear of the person next to them. And then uh-huh. they'd go around until it got to the end. And it nobody's be- allowed to say it out loud until it got to the last person. Yeah. yeah. And then it was all different. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. So Sometimes it worked. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes it worked. Yeah. And uh, today we're going to be playing with Sammy, Morgan, and Caroline. And Sammy's going to go first. And I'll have Greg read it because he's a great reader. And it, this is a- Now, where, where is uh, Morgan and Caroline? Are they somewhere they're, they are they in the soundproof yes. booth? Yes. Oh, yeah. they're isolated they are, They're right in the isolation right booth? So, so what, Sammy can hear this. Then. Yeah, so she's only going to hear it one time, and then she's going to go relay it real quick to Morgan. Oh, God, is this the story? And then, yeah, it's a children's story from, <laughs> from <laughs> the telephone game. All right. And then Morgan is going to quickly go tell Caroline, and then they will wait outside the studio to try to retell the story. Okay. Gotcha. All right? Gotcha. All okay. right. So the story then. All right, Sammy, you ready? I'm ready. Listen okay. carefully, Sammy. Tucker found a lizard in his garden. It was a friendly little soul. It had a sleek body that glistened like the rainbows in oil and four legs that stood out like they were bookends. All right, Sammy, go ahead and tell Morgan okay. that story. Do you story. need to hear it one more time? Yep. I don't, I'm not allowed to. You're not allowed, what do you mean it's you're not allowed to? It's supposed to be one time. Oh, one time. Oh, one time? Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, Greg... Well, how do you think they're going to do on oh, this? Oh, God. I just read it, and I can <laughs> yeah. barely remember it. Me, too. I don't recall any of it. Tuck- <laughs> There's a lizard. I, I, I flipped <laughs> it over. Does yeah. it have a name? T- yeah. Tucker yeah. found a lizard it's in his like oh, t- up or something. Yeah. Had- right. It was mm. wearing lube. Yeah. <laughs> Sleek body. It was wearing lube. <laughs> and it has there was- four legs. <laughs> and there and was, it was rainbows. Foursome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> its hobby was foursomes. Yeah. yeah. All right. And then... Um, as a kid, I, I think I would I would play this, but it would be all swear words. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, I thought maybe we'd come up with something fun, like not something about some dumb lizard in an orgasm. <laughs> well, it's a kid's game. Yeah. Tucker found a lizard in his garden. Mm-hmm. It was a friendly little soul. It had a sleek body that glistened like the rainbows in oil. All right. And four legs that stood out like they were bookends. Ooh. All right. So Ooh, right. indeed. how confident are you? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't blame you. So now hey. you told both of them or just She one? told Morgan and oh, now Morgan's okay. telling Caroline. Yes. All right, so Morgan's here. Hey. Hi Morgan. What's so up, you, y'all? You heard a story from uh from Sammy. Yeah, how well sure was it did. told? It was a great story. Yeah. It was told very well, but Sammy seemed nervous when she was telling me. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it? Yeah. So the story goes, there's this lizard named Tucker and he <laughs> has four little tiny feet. And he, <laughs> Greg's laughing, and he glistens with like this rainbow oily body. <laughs> and he, it's very important that he has four little legs, and his name's Tucker. Oh, all right, all okay. right. Oh God. All right. Okay. Yeah, Tucker found a lizard in his garden. Right. So the lizard's name is not right. Tucker. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Tucker name. found a lizard mm-hmm. in his garden. Right. It was a friendly little soul. It had a sleek body that glistened like the rainbows in oil. And four legs, not feet, that stood out like they were bookends. It's a dumb story. Don't is feel that bad. Yeah, yeah, it's completely <laughs> that stupid. That is not what I heard at all. <laughs> really? Yeah. All right. I thought yeah. the whole point was that the lizard's name was Tucker. No. 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 That was, was the very, very first important. part. That was messed it's up. Very important. That was all I can remember mostly. <laughs> okay. All right. let's, uh, let's bring Caroline. Caroline. So who told Caroline then? You did? I went and told Caroline. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Sammy okay. told Morgan. Morgan told Caroline. Menace, I like this game. All right. Let's, Let's see what this version is. <laughs> that's a, that's cool. That's, I, don't, I think it's cool. All right. Mor- I'm from Morgan. Sorry. Morgan told Caroline. And Caroline, how does the story go? Okay. So there <laughs> once was a little lizard. His name is Tucker. Maybe he was green. A green little lizard. His name is Tucker. And he had four little legs. This is how she did it, too. She had four little legs. And oh, with hand? Oh, she, oh, she just did the hand? big hand motions yeah, yeah. to help. And he had oily rainbow skin. 
Okay. That's all she said. Well, even when she told the story, she made the legs and the feet. Yeah, she did mm-hmm. the legs. And then yeah. She did the and you got it right because it is four legs. Four little legs. Right. Yeah. add the little. And an oily rainbow body. Oh, right. I'm, that's the thing that everybody got. Yeah, yeah, Well, I think because that's probably how Sammy told. Yeah. Yeah. But she, the very first part, you would think they would get right. Yeah. Yeah. Tucker right. found a lizard found in his lizard. garden. Yeah. The lizard's lizard name wasn't Tucker. is not no. named Tucker. Oh. Not Tucker. But you were right about the four little legs. It stood out like they were bookends. But he had a sleek body that glistened yeah, like rainbows sleek. in oil. Oh, wow. <laughs> totally different. Yeah. That's how stories, though, you know, get misconstrued yeah. when, because when I was in elementary school, you hear about stomachs getting pumped by different oh, famous yeah. people. Yeah, because they had some other celebrity <laughs> semen in there. Of, of yeah, course. Yeah. Somehow. Like, uh, that would be, like, some reason to pump someone's stomach. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> that was the telephone game of my era. Dude, Friday and Saturday nights would be so busy at the ER if that was the case. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Yeah, better be in there getting their stomach pumped. Or it was just something with your <laughs> friends, like... Your friend fell off his bike. Yeah. Next thing you know, yeah. dude, he's in the hospital. He's in the hospital. And and his parents are getting divorced. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> he's in a scandalous. Coma. Well, yeah. there is a menaces telephone game. Yeah. Oh. In honor of Graham Bell Day or whatever Alexander, whatever. Yeah, whatever he did. That one dude, <laughs> Bell dude. invented the telephone. Yeah.